What's up guys, it's me Alan, and I'm back with another video, and I am back with an update regarding Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out of Monday Night Raw tonight. Um, now, I've made my video earlier regarding this situation and just uh, the information that we had at the time, um, including WWE statement, which this Fightful report pretty much denounces um, at this point, so... We're going to go ahead and jump into this. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future uploads, all that fun stuff. And yeah, let's jump into this. So, courtesy of Sean Rossap and everybody over at Fightful, the update reads as follows. Those that we spoke to that worked on the match indicated that the match was to be constructed to not have Naomi interact with Sasha Banks or Piper in coming in contact with Nikki A.S.H. in the match itself. The working plan with the match was for Naomi to pin Nikki, not Naomi pinning Sasha as speculated. Those close to the situation said that Naomi and Sasha didn't claim that they didn't want to work with Becky or Asuka, though that was implied in WWE statement and those were the two women referenced. Um, instead, we're told that Sasha and Naomi were angling to work with Nikki and Piper at the pay-per-view. The talent themselves hadn't heard that Sasha and Naomi had considered anyone unsafe until the statement was released. So, WWE on their, on their bullshit once again. WWE Talent also got the statement in their internal talent relations app, which I didn't even know was a thing. Um, in regards to the pitch, the Nikki, versus Piper, or Nikki and Piper versus Sasha and Naomi match was turned down, and there was a pitch to have them instead interfere in the Naomi versus Bianca match, which was also turned down. This was in relation to Hell in a Cell. We're told that Sasha and Naomi's issues largely were concerns about the direction of their tag team and the division as a whole. So, basically, what it sounds like is Sasha and Naomi got pissed because, once again, WWE not putting focus on the women's tag division. Now, don't get me wrong. Naomi winning the match and then... You know, and getting to face Bianca, that, I don't necessarily see a problem with that, other than the fact that Naomi probably would lose. My initial thought was, it, it was a fast track to get Naomi officially in with the bloodline or something. But either way, this is a crazy situation. Um, and honestly, like I said in the earlier video, this has gotten more heat. Not to mention the fact that it got acknowledged on Raw multiple times throughout the night with Corey Graves on commentary himself saying that they had walked out unprofessionally. This has gotten more heat from Vince and WWE than, um, than what happened with Charlotte and Becky last year. And granted, Charlotte did get heat from other wrestlers, especially Becky, but you nev WWE never came out with a statement. Nothing towards either wrestler, like, what the fuck are you doing, guys? Seriously? Like, why are you trying to pin this shit on Sasha and Naomi when they were trying to pitch something, you know, to create it, and you guys shot them down, and then you turned around with something that they didn't see was necessary or that would work? Like, have some common sense, would you please? That'd be nice. Um, and th this plays into some, you know, what Russell votes tweeted saying that, you know, this was something that was built up throughout the day, you know, with a lot of tension that led to this. And there's a thread that I saw, uh, from somebody who was apparently a friend of Naomi's who kind of in sort of detail, not necessarily explained exactly what happened, but put in hypotheticals, you know, this sort of thing, you know, that may have, what, for what led up to this, and it honestly makes sense, you know, Sasha and Naomi, they, they care about the tag titles, and it, and it seems like WWE was just like, yeah, you have the tag titles, but we're using, we're gonna use you as singles, you know, people for, you know, for these matches, and it's just, it doesn't fucking make sense, it legitimately does not make sense, so... That's the update we've got going. Um, we'll see what happens. There's the other, the other thing of note is that Sasha has unfollowed like a shit ton of people, like pretty much almost everybody out of WWE and whatnot. 
The only exceptions being Naomi, uh, Tamina, John Cena, her own cousin, Snoop Dogg, um, and, like, a couple other accounts. So, I guess that's something to make note of as well. Um, but yeah, this is an interesting situation, and I'm honestly wondering what the fuck's gonna happen next, because, like, with Naomi, I feel like she's probably going to be back. I'm not necessarily as sure about Sasha. We'll see. With all that being said, though, please make sure to, once again, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.